Hi guys and welcome to today's video. On today I was thinking to share with you what are my top favorite luxury lipsticks. I'm a lipstick person. If I'm about to choose which is the first item or the single makeup product that I will put when I need to go out, then it will be for sure lipstick. No mascara, no foundation, no nothing, just lipstick. I tend to not leave the house without a lipstick. So from this reason, I'm a lipaholic. I don't have so many lipsticks. And basically, before starting my YouTube channel, I was mostly 90% purchasing high-end or luxury lipsticks. Just because I'm more torn to this side of the lipsticks. I know the drugstore has amazing lipsticks and in the future I will do another video showing you my uh, favorite drugstore lipsticks. But for the moment we are sticking with most luxurious lipsticks. If you want to see what are my most used and loved uh, lipsticks I have uh, six to show it to you and then I will have a bonus that I will show you in the end of the video. Just keep watching. The first lipstick that I'm actually wearing right now, it is the Bobbi Brown Lip Color Rouge in shade pink mauve. So this is, as the color suggests, a pink mauve lipstick. I love the packaging, you have a black packaging with gold, really fancy, really luxurious. Just to show you the swatch on my hand, so this is really nice, every day your lips burn better kind of shade. It's a bit more intense than my lips and I have this from a couple of years. As you can tell, it was really loved. Toward the end of last year, I thought that it became bad because I don't know from the beginning, I don't remember that I felt, I felt that it had some strange scent. But then I got this baby Bobby Brown lipstick in one of my beauty boxes from ASOS. And I have noticed this has the same scent, so this is in the shade Babe. So this is more rosy, more toward pink. But what I want to say about this, so if you are not disturbed about this scent, then for sure this is a really good luxury lipstick. My second favorite luxury lipstick, it is this one from Kevin Aquan. I remember really well this lipstick I purchased from Beauty Bay. It is the expert lip color in shade Telmadora, rosy nude. And you do get here 3.5 grams. So yeah, I hope you can see. So it's more nude, more toward brown than the Bobby Brown. So, luxury packaging, it's a bit more short comparing with my other lipsticks and a bit more chubby, you know, so it doesn't fit in all of my lip holders, but I really love it. it it's really creamy, really comfortable, doesn't last so much on my lips, but I don't mind reapplying. It has a nice scent. It is some fruit scent, some mango. It, it is similar scent with another lipstick that I will show you. One of my other favorite luxury lipstick that I will show you toward the end of the video. But I really love this lipstick. It's one of my precious from the collection. I have it from two years, two and a half, maybe three years. And I really enjoy when I want more natural lips, but still I want some definition and hydration, then for sure this is my way to go lipstick. 
Next, it's one of my all-time favorite lipstick formula and this is the NARS Audacious Lipstick. I have this in shade Audrey and also I have the Anita. So Audrey is more berry but what, what can I say? Um, it's creamy, um, doesn't uh, last all day but it's really nice fading, it's really uh, comfortable, doesn't dry out your lips. Moreover, when the lipstick is gone, you are left with some nice soft lips. You don't have that dry feeling that your uh, lipstick has faded. So, yes, uh, Nars Audacious, it is one of my favorite uh, lipstick formula. So this I purchased from Sephora. First I got the Anita, which is more rosy nude and I have worn a lot. So you can see that Anita is almost gone and also I have it in my project pan for 2019 just because I have these lipsticks from 2015 so it has four years and I want to finish it this year. But I love uh, Nars Audacious lipsticks formula. It is one of the best I ever tried and for sure I will uh, repurchase it. The next lipstick on my list or I can say lipsticks because there are two are those two Chanel lippies. First of them it is the newest acquisition in my collection. This I purchased on the Black Friday sale while I was uh, invited to the Chanel VIP event on Sephora. I have a video that I done on that particular event and I will link that video here up on the card. But yeah, then on that day I purchased the Rouge Allure Velvet Extreme lipstick and I have it in shade 118 Eternal. This swatches really similar with the Nars Audacious lipstick in shade Anita. This is Anita and this is the Chanel. I, I find that Nars one, Nars Audacious in shade Anita is a bit more creamier and has a bit of rosy tint, but just a tad. It's really hard to tell on the camera and more hard to tell on your actual lips. But yeah, I really love and enjoy wearing this lipstick. And first of all, let's have a look on the packaging. You'll press on the bottom and then it will open and reveal your product and here you have written the Chanel logo yeah I haven't used that much of it maybe I have worn it like maximum 10 times it's by far I think the most expensive or at least is the one that I paid more because I had 20% discount, but this is quite expensive. I have another lipstick in my collection that might be more ex expensive than this one, but I really enjoy using the Rouge Allure Velvet Extreme lipstick from Chanel. My other Chanel lipstick, it is the one from the Rouge Coco collection in shade 460 Suzy. So this lipstick is a sheer red lipstick. It's really shiny, really hydrating on the lips. It's not so long lasting. I would say that it's lasting on your lips up to 3-4 hours if you don't have a meal. But what I love about this lipstick is that, first of all, it's really easy to apply, even though it is that red, it's more 
melon red is not that orangey so this is the consistency as you can see it's quite sheer but it's really hydrating your lips are extremely nourished and for a longest period this lipstick was living on my purse I was using it for a touch-up whenever my lipstick was fading I was applying this because I need that comfort you know when your lipstick is fading and you are starting to feel the dryness I was needing some comfort that um, the moisture is brought back to your lipstick but the moisture is brought back to your lips but um, as I didn't have the opportunity to retouch my entire lips I was just adding a swipe of this wonderful product and I just feel that it's working with whatever lipstick you have previously added I think this color is universally flattering and I also love the packaging I find that it is a bit similar with the Bobbi Brown here is my Bobbi Brown lipstick and here is the Coco Chanel just the Bobbi Brown it has more big yellow band on the middle but other than that I feel they have the same kind of idea of a packaging moving forward on my luxury favorite lipsticks the next lipstick that I have on my list it is this Estée Lauder Pure Color NV in shade 30, uh, 340 Envious this is my perfect red shade of a lipstick first of all I love that the, the fact that it's creamy it's really creamy but on the same time it's not bleeding the only thing I need a lip liner when I apply this lipstick otherwise I might not have the perfect contour lip so I'm using today this Kevin Aquano lip pencil in shade Cherish which is really matching with this particular lipstick but this lipstick even though it's creamy it is really long lasting and is staining a bit your lips I bought this in one of my vacation on Spain I think I have it uh, from 2016 I haven't used it so much just from the fact that I'm not wearing red so much but all the time when I need a red lipstick that I know I can trust on I will use this with really pleasure because I have other uh, red lipstick which is more matte but after few hours I feel that it's more uncomfortable on my lips moreover I don't like that one how it's fading you see that demarcation so you, you can tell because it's red lipstick you can tell exactly that your lip is fading but this is not the case with this uh, Estée Lauder lipstick I highly recommend it if you can invest in a good lipstick I will recommend this color I think it's working with every skin tone it doesn't make your teeth yellow it's creamy, long lasting and it's a bit pricey I also bought this on uh, sale it was 30% uh, discounted so just, this is just FYI but I would even pay the full price if I need to repurchase I don't think so that I will be able to use this lipstick before it will go bad but if I will need to repurchase a red lipstick I will definitely repurchase this one because this is my favorite red lipstick I even have a makeup tutorial while I'm using this uh, red lipstick bold lip and uh, black liner so I will uh, add that video also if you want to see how it uh, works with more simple eye but yeah I really love and I recommend using this I said that I have a honorable mention and this is in the person of 
Laura Mercier Velour Extreme Matte Lipstick. I have it in a shade called Fresh. So first of all, this is in a form of a pencil, more chubby pencil. And it's also coming with a sharpener on the bottom. So if you want to sharpen this to have more precise application, you are welcome to do so. However, I will not do that, first of all, because this lipstick is not that chubby. It's way slimmer than a normal lipstick. Just as a comparison, this is the regular size of a lipstick and this is how the Laura Mercier slim it is. And I don't want to waste the product because this is quite pricey. This is more toward berry, has a bit of a berry shade, but it's still on the nude family. It's a matte really matte formula but it's velvety doesn't dry out your lips and it's wearing really really nice I can say that I apply this on the morning and I still have a decent amount of my lips after 2 o'clock let's say like this I highly recommend this product because it's really uh, easy to use you can throw it in your purse you can touch up if you need it, for example if you have a hamburger for lunch definitely you will need to touch up this lipstick but other than that if you have just a decent meal um, you, I don't feel the need to reapply it. The color I think it's universally flattering maybe for very pale, very ivory porcelain skin tone this it will be a bit darker but other than that I really enjoy and recommend this product. The last lipstick on my list, it is my favorite lipstick of all times, if I can say that. And I really mean what I say. This is the YSL Rouge Volupte Shine lipstick. It was and it is really hot on YouTube. And at some point I wanted to try it, of course. This I also bought it from Douglas. And I have it in the shade 62M302. Or I think that the shade is actually 34. First, let's start with the packaging. Have you seen something more wonderful, more glorious than this packaging? You have the golden bullet and here you have the actual YSL logo and you can see the color of your lipstick which actually I love because if you have more of those lipstick in your collection you know exactly which one to pick up you don't need to turn it to see the shade or to open it to see which one it is so this is really one aspect that I love about it the second one the color this is more in a form of a tinted balm but oh my god what a balm <laughs> this particular lipstick I have noticed that it wears better with the time so right now I just apply it and it looks more shiny but after one hour the shine it will uh, disappear a bit and it will become more on the matte side but this doesn't mean that it will move or will disappear from your lips I think it's kind of staining a bit your lips it's infused with oils that will nourish your lips it has a really nice pleasant scent uh, kind of mango this is the lipstick that I was mentioning has a similar scent with the Kevin O'Quan just the scent is a bit more uh, slight that one is more uh, strong the consistency it's similar with the Chanel just I find that the Chanel has a bit more color and less 
shine, less oil. But it is nourishing my lips way better than any other lipstick from my collection do, including a lip balm. So this is the perfect um, lipstick and lip balm for hydrating my lips from my collection. Even my Laneige sleeping mask doesn't do the wonderful things for my lips that this one is doing. That's why I save this lipstick and apply it in the end of my swatches because after applying and removing uh, all the lipsticks my lips are tending to become more drier so I wanted to nourish the lips and uh, have them hydrated for the rest of the day and I've noticed that if I apply this lipstick on the morning in the end of the day if I don't use some other product even I don't have color, it's not so long lasting, at some point it will disappear especially if you don't use a lip liner today I use a lip liner with this just because I wanted to show you exactly the full opacity of this product but even I uh, don't apply some other product I'm set for the rest of the day I don't need to use any balm, anything, my lips are hydrated so yeah, this is by far my favorite lipstick and ever since I bought it I haven't found anything to be as good as it is this one I don't mind the color it's not so strong I don't mind the fact that it's a tinted balm and that I paid the price for a tinted balm for the one of a lipstick because first of all Every time I use this, I feel like I'm a princess. This packaging is everything for me. I know I'm a sucker for the packaging, but yeah, what I can do. Second one, the colors is really flattering. I tend to use this mostly on the summer because of the, the shade and everything. I feel that it's working well on the summer. And the actual benefit that it gives to my lips, it's also really important for me. This product, I, I bought it, I think, two years ago. I use a lot of it, but somehow I still have left a lot of product. From uh, this particular YSL range, I want to purchase more, at least one more to have in my collection, because it's my favorite lipstick. Those are all my favorite luxury lipstick that I own in my collection. I'm really loving and I'm, I'm really attached to each and every one of them. Every lipstick has its own history. Every lipstick is really loved and worshipped by me. I will love them and I will uh, cherish them for the rest of my uh, makeup life, if I can say that. I hope you enjoy this uh, kind of video. And please let me know in your comments down below if you want me to do a drugstore version of my uh, favorite lipsticks. Because since I started my YouTube channel, I'm uh, purchasing more drugstore products. But now I'm discovering that even on a drugstore, there are good products. So maybe I will do in the future my top favorite drugstore more affordable lipsticks. I hope you enjoy my video. Thank you really much for taking the time to stay with me and don't forget to subscribe before you leave and check up the other videos that are here on the screen and other than that I will see you on my next one. Bye bye!